Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is Introduction to Audit Command Language. So let's continue on. This is the fifth video of a series of eight videos covering the introductory topics of ACL. So in this lesson, we're going to continue on with sorting, extracting, and exporting data. So this builds off the previous lesson, so I really recommend that you go through lessons one to four before watching this video. And you can check that out on the playlist. So let's get started. So here I have the ACL project tutorial analytics. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to actually show you how to do it uh, an extra, uh, do a sort or extract and export using uh, the interface. And then I'm also going to show you through the scripting language. And I, but I really recommend that you learn through the scripting language because I do feel it is more effective. But I do want to give people options. So in order, so let's actually go to this table and say, for example, we want only, uh, we only want to know individuals that have a bonus range that's greater than 10%. And right now we have this table and we could sort and, and do all that stuff, but then it makes it a little bit difficult. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to data and we're going to go to extract. And then first it's going to ask you to extract on the record, which is the whole the whole thing, the view, which is based off the current order of, of how you're viewing the data. So if I were to rearrange this, it would export in that format. If I were to click on fields, I could select certain fields. On this case, I'm going to select record because um, I want all the, all the fields and I want it in, all in the same order. And then, and uh, in this case, you can also select the first records and these other conditions. Uh, we'll get to appends in a, in a minute. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put a condition in. So we're going to call it bonus underscore range is equal to greater than 10% in quotations. So we're going to leave that. And then you have to define where you're putting the table to. So I'm going to call this employee may greater than 10%. Actually, uh, I'm not sure it's going to like that percent sign. I guess we'll find it in a minute. Yeah, so it didn't really like that percent sign. It's just going to change it to uh, an underscore. But nonetheless, now what you'll see here is now you have uh, 100 records. They're all greater than 10%. Perfect. And now what I'm going to show you how, how to do that through the script language. So we're going to open up employee underscore may. And it's going to be very similar. So you can go extract. I like to do fields all to include all fields. But in theory, you can also do extract record, which is going to be the same thing as what we just did. And we're going to call it to, uh, uh, we're going to call it uh, employee may greater than, or let's call it um, less than 10%. I know it's it's um, less than or equal, but we'll just leave it at that less than 10%. If, let's go open, if, and then what we can do here is we're just gonna, we're just gonna take the same uh, filter that was applied. Oh, it doesn't work they actually, oh, they record the filter, filter here. So we're just gonna take the same filter and just put it not equal to. Perfect. Now I have a, a set of tables that are are um, now less than or equal to 10%. Perfect. And I'm just going to quickly uh, create the greater than 10% through the script language. There. Let's make sure that works. I'm going to delete this old table. And now, uh, that's great. So now, now you know how to extract data, and and it's really useful. You can also extract certain fields. So for example, if you just wanted all the names and you didn't want all this other junk, you could also go um, without any conditions. Uh, you can also go um, extract fields. And I believe it's called first name 
last name. So we're going to go first name, last name to employee may names only. Let's just open that afterwards. So everyone see that? So essentially you're saying extract fields. What fields do you want to extract? First name, last name, two, and then we're going to open. Perfect. Now you only have the names. So you can see how that's really useful. So what we're going to do here is actually, I'm going to show you a really useful function, especially this is more so useful when you're importing files and then you want to combine them because oftentimes what you'll get is you won't get the full year list of payroll. You'll get payroll on a biweekly basis. You'll get payroll on a monthly basis. And but you are you will end up wanting to put to put all that all those records together in one one table. So you can go and analyze it. You can perform your summarizations. You can identify new fields, identify anomalies across the years. So how do you actually go about uh, doing that? So we're gonna take this example here where we split the employee less than 10% and greater than 10%. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to recreate the original one, uh, original table. So we're going to call this extract fields all to uh, employee may all. You can see here, pretty straightforward. And then I'm going to copy that and I'm going to call it greater than. <coughs> and every time you extract, uh, it creates a new table. What happens if you actually wanted to uh, actually add on to that table? So here I'm extracting to this employee underscore may all as well, but I don't want the greater than just to copy over it. I want to add it onto the record. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just put the word append at the end. And then I'm going to run it. And if I look at employee may all, what you'll see here is you'll see the less than or greater than or equal to uh, 10% and then as well you followed by the greater than 10% so you can use that tool and technique to to then uh, after you've imported all these files to append the ones that you feel are appropriate or to append certain results oftentimes I'll run a series of tests and analysis and then I'll summarize all the tests so for example I might have test one has X dollar of exceptions X number of exceptions Test two has X dollar of exceptions, X number of exceptions, and I basically would append those into one table. So I have uh, test one to 12, uh, X dollar of number of exceptions, X number of exceptions. So it's really helpful to record results. So that's extract, super useful. I use it actually quite a bit in my, my scripts. But what I'm gonna show you next is, what happens if you wanna export those results to, um, uh, to Excel, or to a text file or to CSV, whatever format that you want to use. So we're going to grab this greater than 10 uh, as an example, and we're going to go back to data and we're going to go to external definition. Oh no, sorry, external export slightly different format than, than 10 and nine. So, so, and I don't use the interface that all, all that often I use, mostly scripted. Then here you'll see very similar. You'll see fields. You can select the fields that you want, or you can just select the current view. And then here, if you select text, you can export with field names. Uh, it's probably pretty uncommon that you would export as text if you're if you're an introductory user. Uh, you can also export to XML, which is a great option as well. Uh, ACL GRC if you if you use that JSON. Probably the most common one you're gonna use is Excel uh, 2007 2010. Uh, these other ones, yeah, you can export delimited, especially if you wanna preserve the integrity of the data or in access database depending on the size so if it's greater than a million lines you might want to export using an access database but we're just going to leave it as excel and a couple things you have to do you have to define the worksheet name so that's a tab name in excel in this case i'm just going to leave it and there's a couple other options you can define like the first oftentimes i'll do this if i want to get pull out the first 10 records the top 10 records top 15 records Etc. but we won't touch on that. You can also put if conditions if you want as well. In this case, we're, we are going to click on this two button and we're gonna save it in this results folder. And I'm gonna call this uh, employee uh, with greater than 10%. I'm gonna press okay. And then if I go to, nope, nope.
and I were to go to uh, my ACL oh, and I were to go here what you would see here is now you have an exported result so really helpful really useful and now what I'm going to show you is how to do it through the interface so what we're going to do here is we're going to grab employees less than 10 percent and we're going to paste it here and we're going to open it up and then we're going to go export in this case i'm going to go fields all and again you can select the field that you want and then i'm going to go xls uh, xlsx which is the format that i want exported and i go to uh, and then i'm going to put results which is the path that i want to put in and then i want to put uh, employee um, let's actually put this in quotations the results and then I'm going to make sure I have consistent naming uh, and I'm going to call it less than or equal to 10% quotation close so now if I run that So you'll notice here I didn't define the worksheet. Technically you could, uh, but it's always going to default it to the same name as the table that it's exporting as. So there's no need to, to define it unless you're going to change it. Perfect. So that's uh, exporting you both using the script and using the interface. Another one that you might want to do is to, uh, to sort the data. Sorting the data is actually uh, really important. You need to sort the data before you do duplicates, uh, duplicate checks, before you do gap sequence checks, uh, all that stuff, or, or it won't really make any sense because it's going to identify a bunch of false positives. Oftentimes I use sorting to um, to also identify top records, top values, etc. So let's actually take go from the employee sum. So here, we the data you realize is, is sorted by whatever we pre uh, that we summarize on which is month and bonus range and uh, but maybe for example we want to sort on total salary so if I do reduce this through the interface and I apologize if we make a mistake because don't use the interface that often so we click on sort and then it's gonna ask you what do you want to sort on so in this case I'm gonna sort on total salary and then it's either gonna sort I, th I believe this is ascending like uh, but I'm gonna sort descending which is, means I want the highest to the lowest. And then you can sort on multiple values here. And then I'm going to call, and then you can put if conditions if you want or different values. And I'm going to call this uh, em employee sum sorted. And then what you'll see here is uh, now this value is sorted. So I'm now going to show you how to do it through the interface. So we're going to open up employee sum and then we're going to go sort on and you'll see that there's a lot of parallels between the interface and uh, what's actually being done and I'm going to sort on bonus 2002 sort and then I'm going to put D you know, out in front uh, uh, after the bonus 2002 and that will indicate that you're sorting descending and some of you are asked like how do I know what's ascending what's descending I always give this analogy of when you're climbing a mountain you're ascending it so what actually happened when you're ascending it, you're starting from the bottom and you're going, working your way up. So when it's displaying the data, it's going from the bottom to from the lowest to the highest. While you're, if you're descending a mountain, you're starting with the highest and going to the lowest. So that's how I, I've rationalized my analysis. And I'm going to call this employee sum sorted bonus and I'm call it open. So sorts, and you might ask, like, what's the difference between the sort and me doing this? Is that this is just a temporary view. It's actually not not going to be permanent. So if you actually want to create a permanent view, especially if you're writing scripts and exporting certain values and all that stuff, uh, it's really important to do sorts. And I, I I use them quite often before I export data to make sure that it's appropriately uh, ranked and and makes sense. And it's easy to read and to communicate. So that's uh, extracting, exporting, and sorting data. Super important. Definitely try it out on your own data. Try it out on the data that I provided to you. 
and I look forward to you speaking to you in the next lesson.